Hey, good evening. Welcome back to the channel. Wanted to go over something a little bit different than some other ones. Uh, a quick video on some of the networking and port setup that you might be wondering how to do with Foundry. One of the great advantages of Foundry is the fact that it's self-hosted. So whereas Roll20, Astral, others require you know, they're, they're a software as a service. You, you pay for it, you don't have to worry about ports, you just log in and go. Whereas Foundry being self-hosted, and if you want other players to connect to your um, self-hosted game, if you're hosting it on, you know, like your computer at home, there's a couple steps that you're going to need to do. So let's jump in real quick and I'll just give it a real high level how that works. So once you fire up Foundry and you're either using the standalone app or the browser based login, you know, you go to localhost and you'll see your information. The default port is 30,000. Um, I changed mine to 34,000 just because, you know, for testing and some, some other things like that. It's kind of how I run things. You can set it to whatever you would like, but the default out of the box, it's set for 30,000, um, 30,000. If you know you have a router or your networking devices at home are support universal plug and play, go ahead and check that box. That will actually save you a lot of time, and I'll explain that here in a minute. But it doesn't hurt to check it, you know, whether or not more modern routers that you guys have probably already support that. Once you've got that done, you hit save changes, and it, you know, it may or may not work. One way to do that is to go. Uh, you know here on the Foundry website and I'll have these links in the video description um, kind of walks you through some of what is port forwarding how to test it uh, this site right here open port uh, check tool is really valuable it'll actually let you know if that port is open or not and we'll show it show it here in a minute what you want to do then is go to your local router settings on your network if you are, you know, most broadband home systems, you have a home network router. If you don't know how to log in, check your instruction manual. Like for instance, uh, I'm running an Asus RTN56, and I can go here on this website, portforward.com. It actually walks you through how to set up, you know, even to point of logging in, default username and password. Hopefully you've changed yours. And then it kind of walks you through a UI showing how you would change or how you would do some port forwarding. So in the instance of this, where it says Xbox Live, you would type in something like Foundry and put in the ports of 30,000, uh, TCP, maybe UDP if you need it, and then just follow it. So again, I can't cover everything, but check your instruction manual, check your router settings, and follow that. It'll probably require uh, a save and then a reboot of the router for it to work. Once that's all done, then you go out to the open port check tool and see if that port is open. You, that open port check tool will pull up your IP address and you put in the port that you have forwarded. It will come back with a green if it is uh, viewable or red or if it is not viewable. So that's one way to, to check. The other way where a number of folks have uh, have done it is by using a product called Zero Tier. I have never used this, but I have seen it a lot in fo systems and games where you have to kind of host your own server and you need to get it out. So Zero Tiers, and it looks like it's an open source uh, project out there that you can kind of download, install. Again, I have not used it, so I don't have any, you know, say whether or not it's going to work. But I've seen a lot of posts on it, people talking about it, and it could be an opportunity and a valuable option for you. If you are on IPv6, there's a chance that you might not need port forwarding. Some information here, if you have IPv6, you probably do not need a port forward. IPv6. Uh, just a little bit <laughs> digression is is a little bit more advanced uh, networking protocol for internet addresses basically it stands for inter internet protocol version 6 and they've added some new features and functionality within that uh, IPv6 that 
lets you to not really have to do any port forwarding. And then it mentions here, if you have a router that supports universal plug and play, which mine does, and that feature is enabled, then you probably don't need to do it. Again, check your router. If it has it, you might have to turn it on. Once you have all that done and you basically give out the IP address, you would type it in here. Uh, IP address, not you. If you try to put in your public IP address on your local system, it probably won't work. But if you type localhost, because I'm on my network, but you give it to your friends, or better yet, if you have a mobile device that has tethering, tether your uh, like a laptop or a different system to that mobile device so it's getting an external IP address and then try connecting back to your game in your server and you should come up with a login screen you should see it should be good to go the other option is some people say well I don't want to you know give an IP address out because I don't know what it is or maybe it's going to change you can use domain name service do name domain name uh, resolution so if you have a static IP address or even dynamic DNS you could actually you know type in foundry in this instance you know one of my domains foundry or whatever um, you would put in an a record time to live leak an hour and then you put in your IP address uh, whether you know for this aspect IPv4 address that you can get from the open port check tool or a couple other options out there, um, IF config or IP chicken or something to that effect. Once you hit add and save it, then you can just give the domain name out to your game players so they can just connect to it as well. That's how I work. Uh, that's how I do it with uh, folks that are connecting here. Now, if you're hosting it on a cloud provider or using something like Forge or hosting it on Amazon, AWS, or Google, or um, Azure, that's a totally different. Uh, there are some instructions on the Foundry site that kind of cover some of that, but that's a little bit out of scope for, for today's uh, video. But anyways, hopefully that's a, a little bit helpful for you guys. I just wanted to kind of do a quick high-level overview of you know port forwarding and, and networking uh, overall you know um, foundry is a is a web application so you can even set it to port 80 if you want but it's it's not overly complex but sometimes those hiccups if you're running a server at home and trying to uh, get it working you know for others to connect can be a little bit overwhelming if you've never touched it before so read these instructions here on the foundry website they're really solid but hopefully this is a, a good overview for you guys to kind of get a, a brief understanding. If you have any questions, find me on Discord or Reddit and uh, look in or post a comment below. Happy gaming. Stay safe.